Good evening. Hello, everyone. Can you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, uh, Gladys, Mavi. Mavi, did you solve the problem? Hello, Mavi. No. no. She finally, she finally uh, replied to me that uh, she said she texts on the group that uh, we will obtain our diploma through uh, email. Ah, uh, okay, Gladys, but... but uh, yeah, I'm still hesitating because uh, I don't know if the program uh, already finished in that part. Oh, okay, Gladys, but fortunately, now uh, you were reply, right? You got uh, a solution, right? Because I was uh, thinking about, about you. But if, if you were told that you are going to get your diploma, don't worry, okay? I think you are going to have it. Don't, don't worry, okay? Anyways, okay. you know, what really matters uh, besides the diploma and everything that's uh, related to the program is that you learn. That's why uh, we have some review about the, the final test, the middle term, and all the activities that are in the platform, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Vicente. I'm, Good evening. I'm here. Hey, fortunately, and I'm really glad to see you in the class. Okay. Thank you. You too. <laughs> hello, Daniel. Good to good see you, Daniel. Good teacher, and good afternoon to everyone. Hello, Hi. hello. Good afternoon, Daniel. Good evening. Uh, everyone, good evening. hello. Good evening, Elizabeth. Ruth, good to see you in the class. It is Carla. Hello, Carla. Angel. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Brandy. Brandy, Brandy, Brandy Crockle, Crockle Zick. I don't know what that means. No, 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 no. no. Crossick. 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 Right. Alejandro, hello. Yes, Brandy Crockick. A cro evening. Crockick. Is that like you? a crawl, the beard, crawl. Check, check. I don't know. Crockick. <laughs> okay. Is that is that your your nickname or something like that? Uh, no, it's my married name. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. Uh, really. So that's your husband's uh, last it's name. It's from from Russia, or maybe or, or what country? Wow! Oh, that's really uh, nice. Uh, he born in the United States, but the, the family, the father, was born in Polonia. In Poland. Okay. Wow. You must visit Polonia, Brandy. Yeah, you must visit Polonia. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I will go to United States. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good to see you here, Brandy, and also Alejandro, Fernando, eh, Cristina. Okay, I think it's time to start, right? I, I have 12 people connected in. You know, we only have 60 minutes and we have to take advantage of time. Well, yesterday, uh, well, let us have some review about what happened yesterday. People, who wants to help me uh, help me with, uh, with the information we got? What did you learn? Actually, that's really matters to me. What did you we, learn? We're talking about the use for, uh, about the future and use uh, will and B plus going to. And I remember that the, in the video, we see about, we saw about a going to is for plans that will, will decide. And will is for possible plans before we make a decision for making a quick decision right that's like a key like a, like a key right like for making um when when you uh decide something in a in a quick way so then you have to use like a will for example if somebody knocks the door over here just right now they say oh, okay i'll open the door i'll open the door 
Okay, but it happens just right now. So, but if you say next vacation time, I'm going to go to El Tunco Beach. Okay, so that's different, right? Because you are planning something in advance. I mean, okay, but anyways, you became like like the, the you know, you you are you investigated extra information about uh, both structures, right? Because we have different ways to use um, Bitcoin to and also Quill. And give me one second because I need to go over the information we started yesterday. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, this this is the information we started yesterday, right? Future yeah, right. will be going to and well. And actually, did you get the sentences from the from the beginning of, of the video? Did you write them down in the in your notebooks? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, type the sentences in the chat because I need to see that you got the sentences, people. Sentence number one. Wait, wait a minute, because I will play the video and I need to see if you actually. Type the sentence according to what we, we hear over here. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. Okay, you'll so we're ready. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. Okay, so type the first sentence, please. I need to see what's the first sentence. Okay, Alejandro, I can see that you are still working. Okay. Now, what did the person say in the first sentence? Type it, please, in the chat, people. I'm going to get, that's what you heard. I'm going to get some friends. Let me see if we have another, another option. I'm going to go to a friend on vacation. That's what you heard. Is there any other uh, version of what you heard? Or only we, ha we have Gladys' opinion and also Christina's uh, participation. Is there any other sentence you got? Well, I will play it once again because we need to be sure you know, like having like this kind of uh, exercises, it's really nice because we go over and over again with that with the same sentence, so that we can finally get what the person says. Well, Carla says, "I'm gonna go to visit a friend on vacation." Okay, there's another version. Okay, Carla, is there any other version? No, let's go over here. Listen, listen to it carefully. Future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. Uh -huh. Let me see. Is there any, okay, in the chat, there is somebody else. Vicente says, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Maybe I'll go to visit my family in such a, that's what you hear, Vicente? I'm gonna I'm gonna got a friend. That's what you hear, Christina. Okay, listen a third a third time. Listen carefully because you know the person is like planning to go somewhere. You know, somewhere, right? What? Yes, Some... but um, yeah. I was what? answered the 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 fourth question that do, that you take yesterday. Ah, okay, so don't worry, Vicente, because we're gonna get there in a couple of minutes. Don't worry. Oh, but... sorry. Um, uh, no, it's all right. Sorry, I mean, it's okay, Vicente, because you know what? I want you to type the sentence that you listened to at the beginning of this um, video, okay? Yeah, Be the reason is I, I was typing and I, I didn't hear the, the, the direction. Sorry, Vicente. Okay, so here we go, third time. Thank you. 
in your future plans. Third time, for example, people. I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. Uh huh. Listen, hey, I, I will type in the in the in the chat. Where is he going to go on a vacation? Okay, so maybe the question helps you to get the, the idea. Uh, ah, okay, Brandy. You you almost got it, Brandy. Hey, how, how do you say Francia in English, Brandy? France. Yes. Ah, okay. So look at what Brandy typed. No, this is not French. French is the is the is the nationality, but the country. Ah, friends, thank you very much. So, Brandy, type the sentence by using the, the, the name of the country. And then we got it. Everybody, look at the chat. Because Brandy is going to provide the, the, the statement. Again. I'm going to go to France. I'm going to go to France. Give me one second. I, I think Brandy is, is having some problems. No, Brandy did it. Uh, okay, but it's, don't, don't forget that you need to use the verb to be. Okay, you say, I gonna, no, I'm gonna, I'm, remember we need to, yeah, but the person says, I'm gonna. It's like it's like it's like this, people. I, I will type it. I'm gonna go to friends. Give me one second. I'm gonna go to friends. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to friends. In my next, I think I don't remember exactly, but the person said in or I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna go to France. That's what the person says. On vacation, that's why. That's right, uh, Rafael. Now, listen to it carefully, okay? Because you may get the wrong message if you don't pay special attention your to your future it. plans. For example, I'm gonna go to France for my next vacation. Is it clearer? Ya está más claro cuando lo dice él. Daniel heard yeah. Egypt. That's what you hear, Daniel, Egypt? No, this is the other, the other situation. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's because I, I thought you heard Egypt. Maybe you're thinking about uh, that country. <laughs> <laughs> this is the other sentence. But... Uh, okay, now second sentence, people. Pay special attention. I want you to get the right message. Uh, Brandy says, I'm going to go to friend for my next vacation. All right, Brandy, that's that's better. Listen. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but... Uh-huh. I'm not sure that place visit yet. Okay, type it in the chat. Okay. Because I need to see what you heard. Uh... Can you repeat yeah, no. another time? I, I wanna, you want me to play it again? Okay, uh -huh. listen. I'm not sure what place, place to visit yet. Okay. I'm not sure, ah. Gladys, I'm not sure what places or which place I'm gonna ah. visit. Oh, Gladys almost got it. Uh, uh, and Brandy, you are forgetting about the verb to be, Brandy. And also Daniel. You forget about the verb to be, you know, remember, that's why we say be going to, because you need to reduce the verb to be, I'm uh, not sure. I'm not sure what, which place. Listen to it carefully. But I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. No, once again. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet. Ah, uh, all right. So the person says, "What place?" Says, "Okay, it's not which." I, I, I thought it was which because, listen. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet. Okay, what I'm place? not sure what places. 
and visit, visit yet. Yet. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, but it's I a few. Hey. I'm not sure what place I will visit yet. I, exactly. I, uh, I'll visit yet. The first setting in the, in the contracted form. That's right. I'll visit yet. Pretty good. So let me see if it's somebody got it. I'm not sure what place I, I, Vicente. I visit yet. Check mine. Let I'm me not see, sure. Brandy. I'm not sure. That's this is Brandy's. I'm not sure what place I visit. Perfect, Brandy. Brandy got it. Gladys said, I'm not sure what places we will we will visit yet. Almost Gladys, but it's I'll visit it. I will. Yeah, I'll. Is it good the the text? but they have to use the contraction will yeah i mean if I you will. if you listen to the person saying i it's because the person is using contractive form so that's what i want you to to type in the chat i i know that you are aware that it is i will right but actually i want i want you to type exactly what you listen to okay go ahead okay. let's go over the next one but i think i'll visit the eiffel tower all right Okay, people. Okay, let us try to finish with this exercise. So that I'll we... visit something. I don't. Okay. I, I couldn't hear the you last part. You type something. Brandy says. Yes, I'll visit something, but I couldn't hear the last part. Uh, but I think I will visit the the Eiffel Tower. Gladys got it. Let's see, Gladys. Yeah, Gladys got it. Pretty good, Mavi. Christina, you can check it there, uh, Brandy. But I think that I, I no, Christina is future. Remember, I visit the Eiffel Tower. You almost got it. Look at the Eiffel Tower, Fernando. No. But I think I visit the Eiffel Tower. Almost, Ruth. You got most of it. Okay, I will play the last time so that we can so that we can uh, make sure that you type or you got the right message. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Uh huh. But I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Now let's go over the next. No more? I remember there were more. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. No, I think they were the only ones, right? So that was that was we, we studied yesterday, people. Okay, we had some review about will and be going to. Okay, as you can see, the only, uh, yesterday I told you, right, that this is the only topic we have uh, over here, and also we have a knowledge. Let me see, Rafael says, I'm not sure I visit France or Australia. Oh, okay, so you are you are discussing about, all right, I got you, I got what you want me to, to do. Okay, don't worry then, I will, I will get back with the video. I know you wanna share the questions that appear at the end, right? subject there in the middle okay when are you going to take okay now oh here yeah, that's why you are chatting that. in the, in, <laughs> and sending messages case. in the chat right so this is what you want <laughs> and vicente was like chatting there <laughs> and and trying to share his info okay don't worry this okay. is your time okay i will ask the the i think they were four or five people four no more four. than that right only four. Only four. All right. We have two homework. This is the number one. Yeah, this is the, fir the first. Then we're going to go over the different ways to use Bitcoin 2. And um, uh, well, actually, the boys, oh. ha boys had different, different yeah. topic, right? So boys are, are in charge of sharing information regarding two different ways to use uh, 
Press, no, I mean, be going to and will. Is that right? And for That's the ladies, right. and for the ladies? Rules. Rules. Now, let me see, I will check here. I, I think you shared something in the group. Yes, me, I share. Give, give me just one second, because I need to remember about it. Go ahead. Well, meanwhile, I look for that info. Do me the favor to answer these questions. Okay, Brandy, you will be you will play the role of a leader now. Okay, and you will start by, by asking questions to people. Ask questions to people. They say the name. They say, Vicente, how are you gonna spend your next vacation? Okay. Okay. Uh, Vicente, what are you going to do uh, at the end of this class? No, I mean, what? Uh, Brandy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, it's all right, Brandy. Brandy, it's I'm okay, I mean. Great, great. That's a nice question. question, Vicente. Yeah, hey, Vicente, what are you question. gonna do after this class? But that's really good, uh, Brandy, but sleep. listen. No, but Brandy, listen, do me the favor to ask different people, people who almost never participate in the class and ask the questions that are in the video. Okay, Carla. Okay. Ask a question, where, Brandy. What are you going to do next week? Uh, I went to visit my, uh, I am going to visit my family to Sensuntepeque. And then maybe I, I am going to go to church. Fantastic. But, but give me one second, Brandy. As you could notice, Carla mentioned the word maybe. Are you sure we're going to use be going to or will, Carla? <laughs> will, right? Will, because when you are not sure, then you use will. When you are sure, they say, I'm going to. Okay. Yes, will. Okay, thank you, Carla. Okay, is there any other person, Brandy? Rafael uh, Ernesto. Okay, Rafael, okay. second question, that's for you, Rafael. Okay. But wait a minute, uh, uh, wait, Brandy, to ask. Okay, how long are you going to be on vacation? Mm, uh, I am on vacation. I going to go in vacation two weeks for two ah, weeks. Well, the idea is all right, but uh, Rafa, Rafael, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, yeah. just say on vacation. Rafa is okay. Uh, Rafa is all right. Okay, yeah. Rafa, thanks then. Uh, they say, uh, Brandy, on vacation, you know what? On vacation, I'm gonna spend two weeks on the beach or at a beach. All right, yeah. Rafael. I mean, yeah. your idea is all right. Okay, next, Rafael. Okay. Where are you going to go this weekend? Rafael Cruz Amaya. Okay, Mr. Cruz. Okay, Maria del Carmen Cepeda. Okay. Where are you going to go this weekend? Mm, I will go, I will visit my family. That's it? Yes. Okay, next victim, Alejandro Pacheco. Hit me, hit me. Okay, mm, how are you going to spend your next vacation? I'm going to the beach, I'm going to to, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to I'm going to go run every morning 
on Sunday. And maybe I I'll I be in San Francisco. Okay, and that's that's really you, good. You maybe you will go to San Francisco. Yes, miss. Okay. Thank um, you, Brandy. That was Elisa. fantastic. Okay, Brandy, that was fantastic. It's Thank okay. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Well, actually, you are a good leader, right? So she started like, hey, you know what? I have this question for you. And yeah, let us try with Daniel. Daniel, choose two people only, uh, I mean, and ask the four questions. Try to create a conversation uh, uh, simultaneously. Daniel, choose one, one person. Okay, I choose to Gladys, maybe. Okay, Gladys. Try Gladys, to, I, yeah, Gladys, try I to... have a question uh, to you. Gladys, tell me, how are you going to spend your next vacation and holidays weekend week? Holiday week, um, I think is it will be on May tenth, Mother's Day. Uh, I'm not sure, but I I think that I'll I'll go to eat with my mom to any kind of restaurant, Chinese restaurant. Okay, and, okay. Mm -hmm. um, for, um, I don't know, how do you say, uh, Semana Santa? The Holy yeah, Week? Is holiday Week, Holiday Week. Holy Week. Holy Week. Holy Week, and for the Holy Week, um, I will go to the beach, oh, I guess. Okay. Okay, okay, that's good. That's it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have a question to Brandy. Brandy, where are you going for the your next vacation? Where? Actually, I always work, but I hope when I be retired next year, I will go to the United States and I will oh. visit all the country. I have okay. so and I will try many food. Nice, nice, nice info. Okay, now okay. listen. Why don't Why don't we move uh, to the next part? Because I I can let me see. I will I will try. I will try. Just give me one second. I will ask some people uh, the the same questions. For example, Rafael, how are you gonna yeah. spend your next vacation, buddy? Mm, I will um. I will. Um, I'm going the, to the beach. All right. So you need to define the the idea, right? Either if you say I will go to the beach, okay, there's no any problem. But you need to be clear that that is not a fixed plan. But if you say I'm gonna go to the beach, so now the the message is different because it's a yeah. fixed plan. Okay. Oh, now and maybe. I uh, I will go into the beach or uh, the mountain. Okay, now listen carefully. You cannot no. say I will go into. No, you either say I will go to the mountains or I'm going to go to the mountains. Okay, Rafael. I'm uh, I'm sorry. I don't I don't understand. You don't. Okay, so listen. No, no, no. Oigan, chicos, esto va para todos. No, no es la primera vez que sucede con algunos estudiantes y, y es, este, es válido, ¿verdad? Siempre es válido equivocarnos y hacer la aclaración. No podemos usar las dos estructuras al mismo tiempo. Okay. O, o uso be going to o uso will. Porque acuérdense que cada una tiene un, signif un significado diferente. O sea, las dos hablan de futuro, pero be going to nos dice que lo vamos a usar para planes ya fijos, o sea, eso ya no sé. Es muy difícil que lo vayamos a cambiar porque ya es un plan que tenemos definido. En cambio, Will lo vamos a usar cuando todavía no estamos 100% seguros de que, de que el plan que hemos, que, que hemos pensado va a suceder. Por ejemplo, en español decimos, bueno, yo mañana voy a ir a trabajar. O sea, ya eso ya es incambiable para mí. 
mañana voy a, para que entiendan, en, en español, perdón, para que, para que lo, lo tengan más claro, en español es voy a, en, eh, eh, el going to es voy a, y el will, eh, iré, ok, y si le ponemos otro verbo, eh, will, will go, iré, will eat, comeré, ok, pero go, going to eat, voy a comer, Ok, esa es como la pequeña diferencia que hay. Y asegurarnos que cuando usamos be going to es con planes ya fijos. Quill es con planes que todavía no están al 100% seguros que van a suceder de esa manera. Eh, eh, Teacher, pero no. sería, por ejemplo, en la expresión I will go to the beach or mountain. Ah, Then that's different, right? Uh, I'll go to the beach or I'll go to the mountain. That's better, okay? I heard you say I will be going or some, something like that, I remember. So. Uh, no, but it's, it's no, okay. No, he said I will go to the beach or mountain. Ah, uh, so that was my mistake then. So that was mountain. my mistake because I heard something different. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it's you couldn't okay. pronounce the last word. Yeah, but but I mean, there's Maybe there's no idea. The last word, not sure. Oh, okay, all right. Now I will ask somebody else, and then we're gonna move on with the with the presentations, people. Rafael Cruz. Okay, this is for Rafael Cruz. Uh, where are you gonna take your next next vacation, Rafael? I think he's not here. Just I happy. going, I going, I going to the visit in uh, February forty-five, Colombia. Okay, Rafael, listen to me carefully. That the question I'm asking uh, you is the number three. When? When are you going to take your next vacation? When? It may be tomorrow, it may be in a week, or you're going to take your next vacation on, on a, I mean, in April, during the Holy Week. I don't know, just tell me when are you going to take your next vacation? I going I going to the city visit, visit, visit um February um the country Colombia uh, so that's what I mean that 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 is the answer for the number two where are you going to go and then you say I'm going to go to Colombia Okay, but what about number three, Rafael? When? When significa cuando. Cuando vas a tomar tus próximas vacaciones? When are you going to take your next vacation? I am going to take. I am going. I am going to uh, February. Uh, 15. Okay, I am going to take my next vacation on February the 15th. Okay. Thank you. Pretty good. Let me see. I'm going to travel in April. Daniel is traveling in April. Okay, Daniel. Now, Carla. Uh, so, teacher. Tell me. Somebody have dogs. Can you turn off the microphone, please? Okay. My hair explode, maybe. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So okay, the problem is solved. No. No. Who have dogs? Can you? Give me one second. Turn off the microphone, please. Rafael. Mm. 
It's okay. No, yes, it's it's all right. Thank you. Teacher, perdón que interrumpa. Tell me. Voy a salirme un ratito porque tengo que hacer una llamada de emergencia. Okay, Cristina, we Muchas will gracias. wait for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, everybody, let's continue, please. Hey, something that I want you to be aware of is, is algo que sí necesito que pongan en práctica es que identifiquen bien la pregunta. Por ejemplo, la primera, how are you going to spend your next vacation? How? ¿Cómo vas a pasar tus próximas vacaciones? How? La segunda, where? ¿A dónde vas a ir? En, ¿A dónde vas a ir? Where are you going to go? ¿A dónde vas a ir? La número tres, when, where are you going to take your next vacation? ¿Cuándo vas a tomar? ¿Cuándo vas a tomar tus próximas vacaciones? Y la última, how long are you going to be on vacation? ¿Cuánto tiempo vas a, vas a tener para tu vacación? Una semana de vacación, dos semanas, etc. All right? So, depending on the question, uh, you need to uh, uh, try to get the, the, the correct answer, okay? So, listen, we're going to move on to the, the, the presentations, okay? Because you have you got extra information about it, right? And tonight, we're going to listen to the boys. Or, or I don't know, Daniel. Gentlemen, I mean, the gentlemen say ladies first, right? ¿Qué dice usted, eh, Daniel? Yes, I think... La, la dama primero... A, a, this is the correct situation. The ladies first, please. Ah, ok. Ya, ya sabía yo que Daniel es todo caballero y yes. que me iba a decir que... que las, las Gentlemen. <laughs> que las damas siempre son primero, ¿verdad? Entonces, bueno, lo felicito, Daniel, por ese thank gesto you, tan you. amable que usted tuvo. Y este, vamos a comenzar <laughs> con, con las damas. Respecto a los diferentes usos de will y be going to. Luego, si, yo creo que no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. Mañana, si Dios permite, vamos a continuar con, lo, con los chicos. ¿okay? Entonces, lo primero que vamos a hacer es la presentación, tener la presentación de los, de los hombres acá. Ok. So, Brandy, or I don't know, who will take the lead, leadership in the group? Uh, I have some idea. I shared something yesterday. So I took some ideas about it. this team. But if somebody want to explain something. Ruth, Maria, Gladys, Carla. I, I can see. I, I will read the latest we have in the group now. We have Brandy, Gladys. Ana Marie, uh, no, Ana Ivani, I'm sorry. Uh, we have Elena, Iris, Jessica, Carla Selena, Maria del Carmen, Ruth, and we have Elizabeth also. Okay. So, Somebody wanna help? Me. I thank you. Thank you, very okay. much, Elizabeth. I didn't presentation this one. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the use in the use going to. Uh, I have a rule in the in the future, but but in language. Uh, the talk uh, is it reference and uh, future in immediate um, you want to share the screen when um I go. I go in the example. She's going to pay with a credit card. The used going to. 
Number two, I'm going to drop off my description over there. Oh, Elizabeth, give me just one second, please. Because you mentioned a really nice example. He's going mm -hmm. to pay with a credit card. Who can type it? Who can type it in the chat? One lady, una de las chicas, dijiste la, la, la oración que acaba de decir Elizabeth. Luego vamos a tener un feedback. Esa oración está súper. Okay, I'm sorry, I interrupted Elizabeth. Mm, no problem. Going to pay what? Okay, I repeat the question, the, the, the sentence. She is going to pay with a credit card. Thank you. Okay, number two, I'm going to drop off my description over there. Listen? Yeah, we can listen to you, uh, Elizabeth. Okay. You repeated the, the last one. Okay. I am going to drop off my description over there. I am going to drop off my description over there. Drop is similar uh, medicine. Prescription, you said. I am going to drop off my description over there. Uh, you are talking about the rules? The rule is the instruction. Going to it's more. I don't. I don't understand if you if you said if you say uh, drop or drop. No, drop off. Drop. drop uh, off. Actually, Gladys drop. typed it in the right way. Drop off. Uh, drop. Look for the meaning of that expression, please. Can I go? Yeah, Elizabeth, continue, please. Okay. The next example, I'm going to learn English. We have to type everything, teacher. No, I mean, only I think that the one that's really important for me is, uh, I mean, for everybody is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me see, that she's gonna pay with credit card. It's because I, I wanna share something there that's really, really nice so that you can see like a slight difference between what we started yesterday with the information Elizabeth is presenting now. Do you have more structure, Elizabeth, or can okay. I help you? Okay. Finish writing, taping. Okay. Can Thank I help you? Uh, I'd say the structure. For example, I'm going to to be plus going to plus verb. For example, I'm I am going to pay. You are going to pay. He is going to pay.
that's it. Fantastic. Thank you, Elizabeth. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Hey, actually, I, I need to see, I need to have some review on one example she provided. She's going to pay the credit card. ¿Por qué no dice she will pay with a credit card? Because, because she's uh, completely sure that the method that she um, is going to use um, is by credit card payment. Uh, uh, okay, mm -hmm. eso, eso, fíjense que me encantó ese, ese ejemplo. Yo tenía otro, pero no había pensado en este. Eso está, eso está muy bonito. Imagínense, estamos en una, haciendo fila en el banco o en, en, un, en una tienda y vamos a pagar con una credit card. Entonces, el que va adelante... A lo mejor se saca la billetera y saca algo. Puede ser la credit card. Quizás no estamos al 100% seguros y no es un plan que nosotros tenemos ni que la otra persona tenía. Uh -huh. Es algo que, es, que va, que nosotros tenemos el 90% de seguridad que va a suceder. O sea, no estamos no al 100. Sabemos, pues si no sabemos si va a pasar. Ajá, al 100 no estamos, pero al 90, 95% sí estamos seguros. Es como cuando vemos que va a llover y vemos que el cielo está bien oscuro. ¿Cómo decimos? ¿Va a llover o lloverá? It is going to rain. Ah, it's going to rain. ¿Por qué usamos That it's is... going to rain y no usamos it will rain? Eso está bien, Brandy, pero lo que dice Brandy es cierto. Podemos usar los dos, pero si tenemos las nubes ya encima, que ya vemos que ya va a caer el, el chaparrón, entonces ahí vamos a usar going to. It is an action well, so that is going to happen. Teacher. Pero, pero imaginémonos This que lo decimos, uh -huh. lo decimos en la mañana, hasta el día está claro. Pero como estamos en invierno, imaginemos que estamos en invierno, podemos decir, yo well. verá en la, en la noche, eh, va a llover quizás. Entonces, pero ya well. ese will ya no es tan, tan, ya la certeza es menos. Menos certeza. Ajá. Entonces esa es la diferencia. Y me encantó lo de, lo de la tarjeta de crédito porque sí es, 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 bien, es bien palpable también. Otro ejemplo. Imagínense va una persona no vidente eh, a cruzar una calle. Uh -huh. Y en medio de la calle está una piedra. ¿Qué creen que va a suceder? Ah, miren, Dani, lo que está haciendo. ¿Qué va a suceder, Dani? Get down to ah, the floor. Va. 100% seguro que se va a caer? Mm. No. ¿Qué, qué, tan, no. ¿Qué tan seguro? 75. Ah, por ahí como por el 90% porque va directo a la piedra, ok. Eso sí, va directo a la piedra. Es, might be 50 -50. es, un no, uh -huh. es una persona no vidente. Lo más probable es que se va a caer. Because they use a stick. Y nosotros... They... Y nosotros no. lo vemos. Lo primero que vamos a hacer es avisarle. ¿va? ¿Y cómo le, avisaríamos? cómo le avisaríamos? Guacha, guacha. Hey, watch out. You, watch out. Uh, watch out. No, that's, that's, that, cannot, no, that cannot be possible, right? So you may say, hey, be careful. Ajá, Or pero maybe, hey, stop. Be careful. ¿Y lo que sigue? You will trip. No. no, porque va a decir you will si estamos casi seguros que se va a caer. You are going to fall. You're going hey, to... be careful. You're going to fall. Down, fall. You're going to fall. Food loose. Yeah. Fall. Yeah, that's right. Entonces, vamos a usar going to. Entonces, en esas cositas es de, es de tener cuidado. Otra. Va, otra. Imagínense, yo les decía, si tocan la puerta ahorita, y yo digo, I'm going to ahorita open. abro, ahorita abro. ¿Cuál vamos a usar? Be going to. Wait or a minute, will? I'm going to open. Going to. Going to. I think they're going to. I think going to. Going to. to. I Look will. Ah. Going to open. No. No I van a usar going I'm gonna, to. I'm going to open. I, I'll, I'll open. Van a, van a usar will, will pero I'm de forma. Yeah, <laughs> will, 
pero de forma contractada. Siempre que I tomen am. una decisión de I inmediato, am. van a decir I'll or he'll or she'll, o, o dependiendo de la situación, pero tiene que ser de well, manera contractada. You can contractada. say I'm going. No, it cannot be that way. Because it's, it's a quick, it's a quick decision. Es una decisión de inmediato, o sea, eh, se cayó alguien, entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Levantarlo, pero de forma inmediata. Entonces, y, y ustedes van a decir, I'll help him. Le voy a ayudar, pero, pero no van a decir, I'm going to help him. ¿Ok? Porque es una decisión que usted la toma al momento. Sí, okay. claro. Tell me. But when I use will, es si no sabemos si va a pasar. But, pero cuando lo ocupamos de inmediato, si ocupamos a I'll... Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. So those are like some differences that you that you are going to explain tomorrow. I mean, this info is for the boys. Les estoy ayudando a, lo, a los chicos el día de mañana, porque esa es la parte que les toca a ellos. ¿verdad? Ah, no, la parte que les toca a ellos es las diferentes maneras de hablar para futura. Es otra cosa. Esto es el tema de las chicas, ¿verdad? Pero vaya, ya, ya aquí ya les ayudé y espero que les haya les haya servido de mucho. La información. Um, I don't know. Is there if I don't know if you have any question? No question. Okay, let us try to do something then. Quiero que hagamos un ejercicio. Van a escribir cinco oraciones con Bitcoin two. Uh, I mean, entre esas de, entre esas oraciones van a escribir una positiva, una negativa. Eh, una pregunta de sí o no y una pregunta abierta y la otra pues la, como ustedes lo deseen o sea, tienen que ser cinco oraciones que okay, con be going to y cinco con will ok do it now voy, voy a chequear la asistencia mientras ustedes hacen eso on notebook or on the screen on the chat Well, in the notebook, or if, if you have your laptop with you now, so if you open a, a document and type it there. Teacher dijo positiva, negativa, de sí o no, y cuál era la otra? Eh, eh, an open question es una double H question. Una, una pregunta con, una pregunta abierta. Por ejemplo, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Eh, when are you going to come back? Etc. Abierta. La, la yes no question son las de sí o no, ¿verdad? So, are you gonna come? Are you gonna come tomorrow? Yes, I am or no, I am not. That's it, right? But when are you going to come? ¿Cuándo vas a venir? Ah, entonces ya no podemos decir sí o no, ¿verdad? Sino que hay que dar otra información. Okay, list of tenants, people, meanwhile you were there. So tomorrow we're going to, hey, for the boys, try to get as much info as possible because I will ask questions tomorrow. Ana okay. Ivania. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Jansi. Angel. Present teacher. Brindy. Present. Cecilia. I saw Cecilia over here. Hello, Cecilia. No, Cecilia is not here. I remember I saw her in the group. Cristina. Present. Daniel. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Elena Noemi. Present, teacher. Thank you. Evelyn. Evelyn Susana. Fernando Alberto. 
Can hear. Oh, okay. You're there. I'm okay. here, teacher. Sorry, I was off my micro. Uh, okay, Fernando, I got it. Thank you. Gladys Mavi. Present. Okay. Iris Concepcion. Present, teacher. Jessica Alejandra. Present, teacher. Carla Selena. Present, teacher. Kevin Alexander. Maria del Carmen. Present, teacher. Oscar Alejandro. Present. Oh, Rafael Cruz. Present, teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi. Vicente. Here, teacher. And Janira. Present. All right. Now, people who didn't uh, get into the class tonight. Cecilia Jamilet. Uh, Diana Stephanie. Anna Jansi. Evelyn Susana. In Sandra Noemi. Okay, I got the attendance for tonight. Okay, just to just to try to finish. We still have five minutes. Brandy says that we like swim in the in the river. We like we like swim in the river. Okay, that's a question. Okay, now do you finish? Will I the last one is run <laughs> one I'll extra L that's for you teacher I will give it <laughs> yeah, what, what do you mean is there any anything the last one is have an extra L ah all right <laughs> <laughs> okay let me see teacher I, I finished the the activity all right, can you read the info you got? Yeah, I can uh, share. Okay, Fernando, share it. Okay. Let's see what Fernando has um, included. Okay, I'm going to visit my grandparents. Okay, now there's a, a misspelling. There, but I know what that you got. Hey, but uh, Rafael, remember, is going to. Going, going, going to. I will type it so that you can see it in the chat. Going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to. Go shopping. Okay, the second one. I'm going to go shopping. Okay, try to try to correct it. And don't forget, hey, something that's very very important is that you have to include the the apostrophe, right? So let us try to to write down or to type um, with with no with no mistakes. Okay, with no mistakes. I will travel to Peru. Okay. I will get a new job. All right, that's a really nice one, Fernando. That's a, I will get a new job. Okay, because the thank person you, teacher. is- Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I think tomorrow we're going to have some more time so that you can share more info. ¿Cómo estuvo la presentación de las chicas? Awesome. Was okay. Awesome. Hey, miren que really eso, nice. esos ejemplos really nice. y esa y esa esa participación no sé, a mí me sirvió mucho porque hay, o sea, nosotros eh, nos algunas veces nos inventamos las oraciones, otras veces las buscamos, pero A sí, este, sí me, me me gustó que ustedes consiguieran pues otros otros ejemplos. Eso estuvo fantástico. Eh, el día de mañana 
vamos con la presentación de los chicos, ok, eh, esperamos que sea pues genial, igual que la presentación de las chicas, y que nos ayuden a comprender mejor cómo podemos hablar en futuro utilizando otros tiempos, aparte de will y be kind to. Yo creo que a estas alturas ya investigaron. Miren, eso, Dan Daniel ya hizo los carteles, miren. <ríe> Pretty good, Daniel. Yo creo que Daniel cuando fue a high school, solo 10 sacaba Daniel. <ríe> That's yeah, fantastic. That's, thank you. <laughs> so tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to have teacher Daniel. And who's going to, to help Daniel? ¿Quién más le va a ayudar mañana a Daniel? All group. Me. All the boys. All, group, all, all the boys. The boys. Okay. Guys. Okay, that's fantastic. All the boys. Oh, maybe like a 300. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, so tomorrow the ladies will take it easy. Mañana las chicas descansan y solo van a aprender allá a, a, a tomar lo que los jóvenes eh, eh, han preparado para nosotros. Y yo aprendo mucho, no crean, yo soy teacher, pero yo aprendo mucho. Yo digo, aprendo mucho con respecto a cómo enseñar mejor. Yo siempre estoy buscando como qué otra cosa les puedo implementar a, a mis estudiantes para que aprendan mejor, porque... Yo les comenté en un momento que yo soy un, un aprendiz lento, porque todos tenemos un, un ritmo de aprendizaje. En mi caso, yo aprendo lento. Entonces, siempre que yo me paro acá o a, a enseñar, yo siempre pienso, bueno, aquí deben de haber eh, personas que quizás son como yo, que aprenden lento, quizás hay otros que me aprenden too. un poco rápido y hay otros que me van too. como que... Como que son flash. Y ayer, ayer me di cuenta con el, los trabalenguas que en efecto hay unos que es súper rápido, otros que más o menos, y otros que son igual wait, que wait, yo, que wait. vamos un poquito, un poquito lento. Pero igual, les agradezco y el día de mañana nos encontramos nuevamente. Hagan el, el, el the, the, the final test. That's quite important. Okay, so let's see tomorrow, people. Okay, good. Okay. Have a good night. Okay, okay good night. Good night, hey, teacher. Bye. Good night, bye. classmates. Thank you for your support. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, bye Rafael. Good night. Good bye. night. Good night.